Hey guys, Rich Pacini here, your YouTube vlogging creator. Today I want to talk about adding backgrounds and removing backgrounds with Fomora 14. That's coming up. Stick around. Okay, but well before we get started, I just want to say if this is the first time I hit my YouTube channel, welcome. And I also want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Hope you like the content. You come back for more. And this video is being edited with Filmora 14. And this is the new version, folks, just in case you're wondering. The 14.0.11 is the newest version. So uh, I'll drop the link in here. You can check it out at your own leisure. You know, download it and play around with it. And I think you guys will be very happy with it. And if you're a new YouTuber, I highly recommend you check it out. All right. Let's get over here. And we're ready to go. I'm just going to put my glasses on. We're going to go to the Filmora 14 interface over there and I'm showing you what I'm talking about hopefully this video won't be too too long okay over here as you can see I have two photos I got one with the background and without we're gonna start with this one here we're gonna drop it in the timeline and this is a still photo you can do it with audio or you know with video as well but for argument's sake right now we're gonna do it with the still video uh, photos right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my global media over here and I'm gonna pick out something over here that I just want to you know check it out so I'm gonna try I'm gonna drop this one in here right now and this is really easy folks so just check it out I'm gonna move myself over here just like over there for a second and we're gonna click you gotta in order to do this you're gonna click you on okay and you're gonna put the backdrop on the bottom and we're gonna come over here where you're gonna see on the top is say image color and you can have basic mask AI tools you're gonna come over here it says AI cut out you're gonna click that on and boom it's there now if you come across a situation where the picture, the background is too small, as you can see there, there's two things you could do. You could, you know, shrink yourself down here by getting this way, go like this, like that. You could do it that way if you want to, but I wouldn't do that. I'd rather go like this, go over here, where it says image, go back. Well, sometimes you gotta go back and forth to activate it. There you go. And that little padlock right over there. Let me close this up, there you go. And we gotta go over here, Let's go back here. And when that little padlock is, click it on, and you're going to get these two little squares here. This is what you're going to do. You're going to stretch it out. You're going to stretch it like that. And we're going to move this up here. All right. And you're going to go down here like this here. And now you have a bigger image, a bigger, a bigger background. Okay. So that's one way of adding a background to a, a photo that doesn't have a background. Now, to go now, let's go the other way. Let's go back here. And let's get rid of, remove these, okay? And we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna drop me in here with the background, and we're gonna remove it, okay? And this is how, it's really easy, same thing, you're gonna go back to AI tools, you're gonna come over here, it says AI portrait, bingo, it's cut out. Now, what I like about this here, you could have a little fun with this, if you come over here where it says model, you're gonna have advanced cutout and quick cutout. Okay, we're gonna go with the advanced one right now. We're gonna leave that on here. And what's nice about it, you're gonna see these little ones over here. Okay, these little icons over here. Now remember this, with the diamonds, those, the pink diamonds, those are the ones you're going to pay for. But what I like this here is, just to you know, have a little fun with it, you could add uh, a little neon behind you. you know, and you could also enhance it like this, like that. You can enhance it or you could bring it down to a nice, cool level like that you could also change the opacity of it and that's basically it and they also have different colors you could also add to it if you want to add blue if you want to change it to like a red you could add a red around it and then again you could enhance it a little more you could you know make it really pop like that there if you want that that look and if you could even add the white let's see the white over here that looks there. it gives you a little glowing effect see that it gives you that glowing effect here and it's really nice. It's really easy to do. So, uh, you know, that's basically what I want to share with you guys. Um, I like to go, be honest with you. I'd rather go back to neon. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if I get back to that again. Let's see if we can get back to that neon one there. Yeah, that one there. I guess it's a color one. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. I like that color there. I like the way it's kind of, it's got a nice glow to it there. And again, if you wanted to keep this photo in, in another background, you could do that, right? You could do that there again. Uh, let's just move this guy up here. Let's go back to the global media file over here and Let's see we got to pick over here. Let's try this background here. This is another neon background right like that and uh, 
Now you're all neoned out. <laughs> See, you can do things of this nature like this here. And you can have a lot of fun with it, folks. Okay, and with that being said, let's go to the Femora site there where you could download it if you choose to do so. And here we are over here, um, Femora's official site here. And up here, if you look, you're going to have the download, you're going to have the pricing. There's three pricing uh, packages you could check into if you choose to do so. You got the basic, which is $49.99 a year. You got the advanced and you got the perpetual. I have the perpetual license. I love it. it's a one-time payment and it's basically mine and it's available in Windows and Mac as you can see here, okay? And just to throw this out, a little disclaimer, um, I don't have any affiliate links with Filmora. I do this because I love the program, although I should really find it, find out about getting, a, uh, what do you call it, an affiliate link with them because I always talk about that in my videos as well. So, But I do love the software and I don't mind right now, you know, uh, putting it out there, uh, sharing the information with you guys. Guys. but anyway let's go back to the official site here and as you can see here um, this is their site you know for more 14 more AI videos and less clicks I'll do a little mouse scroll here so you guys could check it out at your own leisure um, the link will you know, I will leave the link in the comment section below I'm gonna step it up a little here make it go quicker and you guys could check out and read this here at your own if you want to you know if you have the time but um, I really recommend especially if you are a new uh, YouTube or think about starting a YouTube channel or you don't have a video editing software I highly recommend you check out uh, for more 14 it really is a good video editing software user-friendly and I think it's pretty easy to use as far as I'm concerned you could read some of the feedbacks and if you have any questions you could answer the questions over here prior to making any purchases but um, if you want to try it out I highly recommend it and uh, that's all I can tell you. It's it's really a great software. You have nothing to lose but everything to gain by making great videos. So uh, check it out when you have the chance. Okay, and that's all I have for you right now, folks. If you like this video or if you checked any of my other videos out and you like them, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post that new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. This is Rich Bassini signing off. I will talk to you guys the next time. Take care and bye-bye for now.